We are just chin chilling here on the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. Everybody, welcome back to the not quite Reptile Party's YouTube channel, because I'm clearly not holding a reptile. Uh, as we said in some previous videos, we are currently in the process of opening a nature center here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And as part of that, we are not just going to be reptiles anymore. So you've seen the birds that we have. Uh, and now this is one of our chinchillas. So this is a violet chinchilla. So they have kind of like a purple coloring to them. This is our female. And uh, she's she's settled really well. Um, getting them out of the habitat, you kind of have to chase them a little bit. But you can see she's not trying to bite. She's not, uh, you know, being defensive. She's just curious. We spend a lot of time kind of, as weird as it sounds, sitting in the bathroom with her and the other one and just letting them climb around, get to know that we're not dangerous. Uh, chinchillas are probably not, well, they're not nearly as common as other pet mammals like rabbits especially and hamsters and guinea pigs they require a little bit more for their care uh, they need a lot of height so like a ferret cage is is more appropriate uh, because they climb and they in uh, chile where they're found they live in like rocky outcroppings in groups and uh, they have burrows and things like that so they need a lot of height to explore they need a dust bath water is actually not good for them uh, so how they clean themselves is actually in specialized dust. So you go and buy a chinchilla dust from the pet store and, uh, and give them that. And they are herbivores. So there's specific chinchilla diet, and then they'll get things like fresh greens, corn, hay is a huge part of their diet. Hey, give me a hay. But, uh, yeah, so this is the girl, and she's she's come to a couple of our summer camps already, and she's like hung out on my shoulder and we're taking pictures with kids and stuff. Uh, so she's she's really chill. Like even right now, you see she's she's not freaking out, even though I'm talking and uh, and just sort of like exploring and hanging out on me, uh, which is really cool, right? Aww. So chinchillas are a fur animal. Uh, they are raised uh, in fur farms. Uh, it would take a lot of chinchillas to make a full chinchilla uh, coat. So they're used to their fur is used to line gloves, uh, do like the tufts of a uh, of a jacket, like the the collar or things like that, or the cuffs. Um, they are actually an endangered species. Uh, both species of chinchillas are because of being hunted uh, in Chile in and Argentina. And so that's unfortunate. So they were hunted again for their fur. They were also eaten. Um, so now we're pretty much relying on, uh, on you know, captive breeding of them to, to sustain the population. But ones like this one uh, aren't, <laughs> aren't good for, you know, you can't really release them into the wild because they are bred for specific colors. And we're going to meet our other color of chinchilla in a moment. All right, so this one isn't quite as, uh, he's not like, mean or bitey but he's not quite as content to just hang out and chill come here buddy it's okay it's okay it's okay there we go there we go so this is our male so this is a pied uh so white with dark markings um sort of like on the legs and on the face uh there's cinnamon there's completely solid black ones uh, lots of cool choices for these guys. And so you can see him using his climbing skills. This is like a, I don't know, like a mouse kangaroo rat combination hybrid thing. Yeah, sit like that. Um, this is why I talked mostly with the violet because uh, I knew that he was a lot more active and harder to keep on track. So uh, let's cut to some footage now. We're just going to watch them uh, frolic around in their habitat and in their playpen. We have a playpen for them and then uh, we'll be back.
everybody. I hope you enjoyed meeting our chinchillas. Uh, they're so soft and so cool and so jumpy. I knew I was going to do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to people getting to meet them at the new Calgary YYC Nature Center uh, and uh, getting to see their cute little fluffy faces up close and impersonal as they climb around and jump and stuff and play in their playpen. Uh, so you can support us on Patreon. You can support our chinchillas on Patreon. Uh, they have a lot of seeds and grass that they need to eat. Uh, so check that out. That info is below. And as well, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like our mammal videos, we have a lot of mammal stuff for you to check out. We have videos from Africa, like walking a cheetah and walking with elephants. Uh, we have sloths. We have uh, coatamundis. We have lions and tigers and bears, literally from Discovery Wildlife Park. So check all that out, guys. Check out our old videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, on behalf of my fuzzy little friend here, we'll see you next time.